question for you. Would you give yourself more time to heal your wounded heart, facing a great reconciliation opportunity with your loved one after a disappointing event? Hi, my name is Liliana Martins and welcome to Inner Parenting. Today, we will be working on your emotional body, which is represented by the water element. Have you ever experienced a moment of reconciliation where you throw away all reasoning, you follow your wounded heart as it seeks the opportunity to momentarily heal the deep wounding that it has been experiencing, to what it feels like a forever life? Before we explore this subject further, remember to like, subscribe and notify so we can all go through this time together. Today, I want to explore the scenario where John is in a divine masculine-centered relationship with Paula. For more depth in this subject, please watch the episode Wounded Divine Masculine Relationship here at Inno Element TV. In this part of the story, John has met Paula in very unusual circumstances, a moment in space and time where they connected and a special spark was ignited. They parted without exchanging telephone numbers and he did not even catch her name. On the other hand, she knew his name and could not forget his face. He could not forget her though. Serendipity had it that they were to meet again in the working environment. Paula recognized him straight away, but he did not, as she looked so different. Paula's heart got slightly disappointed as she unconsciously perceived the initial experience had not impacted him the same way as it impacted her. Following this initial moment of slight disappointment, Paula decided to empower herself and approach John on the next opportunity and remind him of their encounter. It did not go very well. John was facing a stressing situation when Paula approached him, so he snapped at her and did not even allow her to talk about it. Paula got her first real wounding of the heart. John carried on in his daily routine, but what Paula did not know was that John was actively and consciously looking for her by trying to find the woman he met in that special occasion. As working days moved on, Paula and John developed a natural friendship where their natural energies were attracted to each other. Paula was a soft, gentle, with a very divine feminine energy. Paula had a huge people pleaser program in her, which made her the doormat at work. She missed good opportunities to grow and was afraid of her own power and capacity. John was still on a mission to find his perfect partner, so he kept going back to the memory of a good opportunity missed in space and time, whilst his natural attraction to Paula grew in intensity and attraction. Paula knew who he was, so she welcomed his progress in their relationship. She got her second wounding of the heart though when John mentioned he was interested in another person. What would you do in this circumstance? We would love to hear from you. So I hope this content resonates with you. But if you have any conscious ideas, requests or suggestions, and you feel we are the right community for you, leave us your feedback and your comments in the comments box or visit our website. For more content, follow us at any of our social media platforms. See you in the vortex. Goodbye.